All right, planner calendar. This may seem a bit weird uh, why you would have a calendar specific to a plan, but if you think about how tasks are executed, you have dates that you're trying to hit or meetings that you're setting up and collaborating with people associated to the plan, and it'd be nice if they fell on a calendar. So to access it, hit the three dots and hit calendar. I've already opened it. And here we could see a uh, series of shared calendar. These are the groups, and we can see a series of shared calendars. I happen to be looking at both the DTS calendar and my primary calendar. And I can take any one of these away if I want by just simply clicking the green button here, and it'll remove it. And if I wanted to add it again, I just simply add it again. It's that basic. And you can add other calendars by searching for them, etc., or even click on on items in here to display different groups. But for now, what we really want to do is we want to just show the ones related to this Kinder Morgan job. So I can see I've added the Kinder Morgan item here. It's the light blue. And you can see the items that appear here. And these are all items that are directly related to this Kinder Morgan project. So you can, you can even open one of these items if you want. And I'll just open one of these here for you. I can see who sent the invitation, who responded to it. Um, let's see one that I authored. Here we go. So here's one that I authored on this Sage 300. You can see where it is. You can see a bit of the information. You can see who's accepted and who hasn't. And I can edit it if I want. If I want to see who's got the no response, I just simply click anywhere on that and it pulls up the entire appointment. Now from here, I can actually forward it to somebody. This is getting into some calendaring tools, but I can forward it to somebody if I want. I can add a Skype meeting if I wanted to. Um, I could even add a special charm. But the most important pieces are here. I can add people. If I wanted to add additional people right on, I could do that. And then I could see who's accepted and who hasn't responded. So this DTS is our plan. So of course it hasn't responded. And then Honey hasn't responded in this instance. And you can see their initials. So, and by the way, you can use a scheduling assistant if you have access to their calendars, which I don't. But if I did, it would show up right here on this calendar. It's a very, very nice tool. So this all has to do with the calendaring function related to plans. That's all.